Miss Allen, you say that after a brief affair with Mr. Childs, you discovered you were pregnant with your daughter, Ms. Baylor. You say Mr. Childs acknowledged paternity until his wife convinced him otherwise. You intend to prove that Mr. Childs is, in fact, your daughter's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Childs, you admit to the affair with Ms. Allen, but say she was involved with several other people around the time of conception. You and your wife contend that you are not Ms. Baylor's father. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. Ms. Allen, why is Mr. Childs denying your daughter? Um, his, his petty wife. She's been Excuse doing me, that Honor. for years. She wasn't there when we were sleeping together or nothing. So I don't think she have anything to do with it. So you're basically blaming his wife? Yes. She, she should blame herself, Your Honor. What? Why did it take you 20 years to figure out that you should get a DNA you, test Because for I didn't need, I I you, didn't need to I go through you the from drama. The Again, I didn't need I to go through the drama right. with, with you. Let's talk one at a time, because I do want to understand this. How did you all even get together? She was friends with cousins of mine. And... We got together like that. We ended up messing around or whatever. Nothing serious. So you People... all get together. Yeah. You have mutual <laughs> friends. You start having sex. Well, obviously actually, unprotected. Actually it started like this. We had a friend that got killed, and me and him, you know, we were, you know, I would call and check on him and things like that. Then one day I just came through after a football game, mm -hmm. and, and he wanted to ride with me, and so we went on and had drinks or whatever. And then that's when Wrong we guy. start have we we Wrong had guy. sex. Is this the night you believe you conceived after yes. the football game and the drinks? Yes. Was this the only time you were intimate with Mr. Child? We just did it like maybe a couple times after that. Okay, so this didn't extend for a long time. This no. is just a no. few encounters. No. Yeah. Then you say you got pregnant, mm -hmm. and once you got pregnant, did you tell Mr. Child I'm pregnant and I think it could be yours? Actually, it was rumors. So he came you to me. You the rumor. People are coming okay, to me. Okay, if I, have, if I have family, if I have family and I'm pregnant or whatever, but... It... Why aren't you telling the truth? You didn't know who the father was. Well, you, you knew that you from day that, one. You were telling that... You knew that from That's day one. That's not what you were saying, though. The you rumor knew that, that you put out there... One. Hold on. I want, I'm going to give both of you a mind. chance to respond to the other, but I want to understand. Ms. Allen, what is your contention? I, I told him, I said... She may be your child. You told him directly. Yes, I told him. I said it's a possibility that she may. So not you be said yours. it is a possibility it, that she may not be yours. Exactly. So you acknowledge this doubt. Y yeah. Yeah. And, and okay. I, so, I, Mr. Child. Yes, ma'am. How did the story go in your assessment? Your Honor, listen. Wasn't no. Hey, listen. I'm trying to get at you or anything like that. No, never that. It's just a moment that happened. So I even asked her. You know, once I found out, I heard she was pregnant. Hey, are you pregnant? You supposed to be pregnant by me? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if it's yours or not. So I'm like, okay, I'll tell you what. If, the, if you're pregnant and it's mine, let's get a DNA test. We can go ahead and get this out of the way. Have no problem with taking care of her because she would have been my first. I don't see her again for months. Probably longer than that, Your Honor. So, Ms. Allen, when Ms. Baylor was born, you didn't invite him to the birth? No. Did you invite any other man? No. Did you inform the other possibility or the other possibilities that they may be the father yes. as well? You did? Yes. Okay. If you say he might be the father, why are you in court today saying that he is the because father? Because I was messing with him first. How do you know From that? From the... What you mean, how do I know that? You... I had to go through the drama with Ms. Johnson... Um, up and down the road, she following me. Why can she remember me chasing her up and down the street, but she can't remember who fathered her child? Why am I living? Why am I living in her head rent free, but she can't remember who fathered but, her child? Furthermore, your honor, he's always girl, been there for girl, my please. children. So this this girl, little please. song and dance like she she's doing, I'm telling the truth. Why You're would like she? she, she, she yeah, okay, I think it's important to know too. Whatever's when we met her the daughter, the daughter told us that she had tested someone else. Why didn't you test him first? So, Ms. Allen, there has been testimony which indicates that you also tested another man. Yes, yeah, she did. Is that, that true? Okay, that is true. Okay. That is true. Tell the court about that. That is true, but that was somebody that I wasn't even messing with him. This was something that came about. Why are you testing Why would you test with? someone you aren't messing with? Because this is, he, this, you know, she he, was fishing. He came, out, he came out and asked me, and he said, you know, I was messing with your mom around the time. I wanted, I wanted to get a DNA test with you. Okay, someone reached out to you, yes. Ms. Baylor, and said, I think I may be your father, and 
I want to have a test. Yeah, I want to have a test. But, Miss Allen, you say this no. person was never a consideration. No, and I, I told him that, but he was insisting on it. And I was like, that is not... I wasn't even messing with you back then. So, the, the bottom line is, Miss... She don't know. That's the bottom line. Allen, you have not had a DNA test with any of the other true potential fathers. Right. Okay, so, Shinesha, Miss Baylor, were you always told Mr. Childs was your biological father? To be honest, Yana, I was about 14 when I first found out uh, my sister's dad wasn't my dad. Just hearing rumors, just going over my grandmother's house in Bowling Green. And uh, that's where, basically, he is from. And everybody would come to me like, you're my cousin, TJ's your dad. I'm like, I don't know who TJ is. Who is TJ? And I went about it myself. I found him on Facebook, hit him up, and I said, look, I don't, I don't know what's going on, but I do actually want to know. And did, did I ever once deny you? No, nah, you never did. Never once. Mm. Never once. A child looking for a father, Yana, and I stand a chance of being there, I'm gonna be there. Yeah. I'm gonna be there. You can ask it. We, we conversated, we talked everything. So, Miss Baylor, first you believed until you were 14 years old that your sibling's father was your biological father. Her stepfather. Yes. Then people were murmuring. And you were told by whom that that was not your biological father? Um, well, basically, my stepdad was telling me stories, and he said when he met my mom, then she was already pregnant with me. Okay. You know, so, so your I, stepfather told you the truth. Yes. So I, I actually, I don't know if he meant to, but when he told me, I was just like, I just started asking questions. I just wanted to know. Right. And I wanted so to get to the bottom of it. Yes. She she knew I told her, sit down and told her the whole story. Yeah, she well, told I, me after. She, she didn't, like, I'm, tell me before, but she told me after the fact when my stepdad did say that. Okay. You no, know, she sat down and talked to me when I brought it to her attention, like, and I then, don't know what's going on. I'm confused. I, I know, I'm honey. confused, too. Please. I know, and that's why I'm trying to understand this, because you know? <laughs> at the end of the day, you have a right to understand... Exactly. ...what happened. Your Honor, in 2006, I got in touch with Miss Baylor, and I told her that I wanted to meet... Shy. 11 I... years ago, you would have been nine, Miss Baylor. Yes, ma'am. So you made an attempt yes, to meet Miss yes, Baylor at nine years old. Yes, ma'am. But you weren't informed she was... of any of this till you were 14. No, ma'am. I met her. I, I sat down and talked to her at Miss Allen's house. I never denied that he Then why never wouldn't tried you tell to... her? I why know, wouldn't you tell her? I, I felt like I talking. never saw this man in my life. Like when people was telling me when I was 14, I'm like, I don't know. She don't, Nobody she named remember, TJ. I don't remember him or none of this. You were only nine. At you all. don't remember him I at all. Remember nothing. And let me ask you this, Mr. Childs. It seems as if you were making earnest attempts Your to yes. find out. Is it that you still had a question in your mind, so you were just trying to see it through? I just wanted to see it through, Your Honor. Be I'm saying like this. If it was such a struggle for her to raise her by herself, and you know where I am, if I'm such a bad person, go get child support. When we went to child for child support, I would've got a DNA test. And this would've been taken care of years ago. I've been going on years, Your Honor, with people saying, oh, you know Shia's your daughter. Oh, you know Shia's your daughter. I don't want people looking at me like, oh, you're a deadbeat dad. No, I, no. I, I do what I have to do to take care of my family. That's so, wait, I want to ask Miss Allen, if this was the man you truly believed was your child's father, why didn't you ever pursue child support? I basically was working and just uh, taking care of her was... on my own. Or was That's it that it. you just really knew that you didn't know for sure if it was him. Well, it didn't, it didn't even matter because I just didn't, was tired of going through the drama with her. It didn't matter to you. You can't so say that. So, I went on with my life. I took care of her by myself. So, Ms. Allen, you never in the court system pursued a, a DNA test, nothing? No. no. All right? Your Honor, she just made me feel like she wanted me to be the father by name. So, if someone asked her what? who Shai's father was, Thank she you. could say me. <laughs> You know, Your Honor, Please. I'm not being funny or anything, but okay, I, I, I was a good catch. I'm not gonna lie, I was a good catch. <laughs> so, so I can understand, you know, where she was coming from then. I would have made sure she was fine. I would have made sure the child was fine. All that would have been good. What I'm saying is there was no way to keep up with her. You know, when she had the baby, Your Honor, she, she brought the baby to my mom's house one time. And I told her right then and there, look, Nisi, we can get this straight now so we don't have any problems in the future. She disappeared. And you say he didn't say that, Miss no. Allen? Mr. Charles was doing other things and... I'm not saying I wasn't. Yeah, and I, I wasn't the only... I, I wasn't even I was the only, only one he was messing with. He was messing with my cousins and all that stuff. So, 
That's again, why I just went on and bought my business. What does that have to do with the child at hand, Your Honor? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't, exactly. but at the same time... That's what I'm saying if, if I've been we... going through, Your Honor. She, she's not concerned Whatever. about her. She's concerned about her. Mr. That's what child... Yeah, I'm about. concerned about her, you too. You want my name through the mud for years, Nisi. How did I bring your name through the mud? You've been telling people, see, my baby won't take a DNA test. How is that not running my name through the mud? Okay. People looking at me like I don't take care of a child. You crazy? Okay, okay. It's funny to you. It ain't funny I, to me. I'm, I'm not... Hey, do what you gotta do. Of course you're All I'm saying here. is of we here for her. Listen, name. listen. Your Honor, can I say... Mr. Childs, you have other children? Yes, ma'am. Well taken care of. She knows I would've took great care of this girl. Great care. So... Mr. Childs and Miss Johnson, do you have any additional doubt? Oh, yes, ma'am. You yes, do? Ma okay. I have some evidence right here, Your Honor. Let me see the evidence, Jerome. Yes. Will you describe what this evidence yes, is, sir? My first evidence is uh, with my children. All my children have six fingers, Your Honor. Both of my kids are, are very tall and, and look just like me. All my kids look just like me. You know, I'm not saying that, you know, that doesn't mean she's not my child. It's just that I feel I have strong genes. So, you know... So, you're saying all of your children, yes, all of your other children, have been born with a sixth finger. Yes, ma'am. Just like myself. And that's a physical characteristic you share with them. Yes, ma'am. Right. And when we were pregnant with the seven-year-old, we had an ultrasound done. And at that point, as soon as he hit my stomach, she lift our hand up, and there it was dangling. Another that digit. six finger. Another digit is what they called it. Mm -hmm. So, if we asked them about that, and they said it would be hereditary, who got it? Mr. Childs, are there other members of your family with this sixth finger? No, ma'am. Ms. Johnson, on your side? I don't have it, but I found out later on <laughs> my dad had six fingers. But none of us, like my brother or sister, none And of so, us. the gene could have come from your side. It could have. But it was just interesting. None of so us. interesting. Yep. They don't. So, Miss Allen, are you still convinced that Mr. Childs is her biological father? Yes. You do believe I, that? I, I really do. After today's results, what are you hoping? I mean, if if he is, you know, the father, I want them to have a relationship. And I mean, I'm out of it because she's 20. So, at the same time, if he's not, then we move on. That's, that's fine with me. I, I just have to say, you know, on your behalf, and I don't mean to speak for you, Ms. Baylor, but this is something she has not moved on. Mm -hmm. She deserves an answer. Yep. <laughs> and I don't know, Chinese, it's been a lot of talk about the past and what people do and what they did, but I want you to know you matter. Mm -hmm. You are all that matters mm -hmm. in this moment. What are your hopes? Basically, I'm just hoping that I can just close this, this chapter that I do have open in my life. You know, if it's not closing, I'm gonna I'm keep trying to close the chapter. There's nothing that I can be mad about because my mom been taking care of me si since, you know? Exactly. And, and, and I want and I hope, as the adults here in this situation, you all can understand that I think it is so amazing that you can stand in this courtroom today and say, you know, I'm not mad about it. But I do want you to understand that it is perfectly okay for you to be heard about it. And that's okay to admit. This is a lot to have to process. And every girl, every boy, you need your dad. Yeah. And even though you've had a wonderful experience being raised by your mother, it sounds like you had a nice stepfather as well. At 14 years old, to get that kind of news, and then from that point on, for six more years beyond, beyond that, to have questions and confusion, you can be strong and still acknowledge that you're hurt. Family, are we ready for the results? Yes, sir. Let's do it. Jerome? These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. In the case of Baylor versus Childs, when it comes to 20-year-old Shinesha Baylor, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Childs, you are not the father. I'm very sorry, Miss Baylor. It's okay, Your Honor. 
you know, at the same time. It's okay, honey. It's okay. Ms. Dixon, uh, today you come to our court after a very difficult journey and yes. some grave health issues. In your statement, yeah. uh, you say you believe that Mr. Froyo is your father, yes, and he has denied you since you were a little girl, even though he signed your birth certificate. Yes, ma'am. You are seeking results of a paternity test to prove that he is indeed your biological yes, your father. Honor. Now, Mr. Froyo, you claim you have serious doubts that you are Ms. Dixon's father because another man confronted you and told you that he was Ms. Dixon's biological father. Yes, ma'am. Now, you say you're sure today's DNA test results will prove that you are not, in fact, her father. I have to ask you first, Ms. Dixon, how does it make you feel that Mr. Froyo is denying you? It makes me angry and hurt. Um, I was diagnosed with cancer. And recently, I've been very ill. I would like my father to be there. I want to know. I'm 25. I've gone this far. I don't want anything from him. I just want to know. I don't want him to feel sorry for me. He says he's not my dad, but he'll be there for me. I don't need a charity case. You know, if he's not my dad, he's not my dad. But if he is, I'd like him to know, like, I've been through so much. Um, my grandmother passed away, his mother, in 98. At the funeral, he told me my tears weren't needed because it wasn't my grandmother. I was 10. He told me when I was about 15 that a man named Tom Ashley was my father. Mr. Froyo, why are you so sure that you're not Ms. Dixon's father? Because she truly feels rejected by you. Well, when she was about six or seven years old, I had contacted her mother, which is at, to the right of her right now and asked if I could take her out for her birthday and buy her stuff. Quote, unquote, over the phone, you're not seeing her. Oh, no, 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 that is not true. He would not give me a phone number, an address. He wouldn't tell me where he was taking her, how long he was taking her, and I wasn't having that. And there is no Tom Ashley. Are you serious? So you're saying, Miss Walby, you're saying there's absolutely no Tom Ashley, you don't even... You know what? If there is a Tom Ashley, I would like to meet him because he's got to be a better dad than him. He denies her because she was a girl. That's why he denied her. Is that he true, He wanted Mr. a boy. Floyd? No. I have, true. I have an older daughter, I have an older son, and, and you I have a younger a boy. daughter. I don't deny anything. He wanted a boy. He left me in the hospital right after I gave birth and did not come back to that hospital. Today will prove it, Your Honor. This will prove it today. I just want to know. He tattooed my name on his arm. When like he said, he's got older children. All four of us are in a row, from oldest to she youngest. My name's on his arm. Is that true? Yes, ma'am. Now, why would you tattoo her name on your arm if you didn't believe she was yours? Up till five years ago, Your Honor. Are you serious right you now? You denied me in 98. Let me ask you. Hush up there, lady. I'm talking. Oh. Mr. Dixon. Oh, back up. Simple Harvey. reason is, Your Honor, mm -hmm. why does Samantha have Dixon for her last name if I am true, because her biological he, father, and it's not my last asked, name? He asked me at the hospital, do not put Froyo on there because it would upset his mother. Don't play that. That's why that's, I gave her Dixon. That's your story. And I'm sticking to it. That's your story. And I'm sticking to it. And what happened five years ago? Five years ago, my son and myself were in, in Florida, and this gentleman came in, which was a friend of his. He goes, Samantha has never been your daughter. I go, oh. what do you mean? My son sat next to me. He says, she's mine, and I'll never go to New York State to prove any different. Well, I'd like to know who he is, really, because he might be a better dad than you. Do you see this? <laughs> your Honor. So you say your you Honor. were... <laughs> you were sitting there. Yes, ma'am. And this gentleman just throws this out to you. At the same time, he was seeing the girl he's married to now. Yes. And seeing Patty. So you guys were together. Yes, ma'am. Living together. Yes, ma'am. And they stayed together five years after I was born. And he denied me when I was eight. He denied me when I was 15. He denied me again when I was 17. Now it's when I was 20. 
I don't want anything from him physically. I don't want his money. I just want to know that he doesn't need to be my dad to feel sorry for me. I don't need no one to feel sorry for me. I battled cancer for six years by myself with nobody there. He's lost his mother to cancer. You would think being that I'm, if you thought I was your daughter, why wouldn't you want to be there? And I'm, I need to understand, Mr. Foyle, if you have compassion or at least some type of affection towards Ms. Dixon, because it's not being shown very much in the court today. Whatever the paternity comes out to be, it is. I have neither dislike her or like her. There were several instances that Ms. Dixon enumerated, ages, five, eight, that she says you denied her. What I, are these circumstances? When I was about... 13, no, it was when my grandmother died. So we're, we'll say from 10 to 13, he was dating a girl who didn't like me. She considered to me considered me to be a ghetto hood rat because I didn't have the best of the best. So I called his phone, because I always find his number. I have his number now. Because I've never let go of the memories when I was five. I've always wanted that dad back. Because at one time, he loved me. One time, I was the, the light of his life, at one point. And you remember that. And I remember. I remember sitting on his lap. He used to race motorcycles, and I'd go to the tracks with him and sit on his bike before every race. He said I was his good luck charm. He used to call me his moose because I was so chunky. But when I called his phone, he told me not to call him anymore because I wasn't his child because his girlfriend didn't like me. And then I did. I disrespected her, and I went up one side of her and down another, and he told me never to call him again because he's not going to have anybody acting like that. But you know what? How many times am I supposed to be hurt? How many times am I supposed to reach out for him and ask him to just be there? Did you say to her, directly to her, when she's trying to reach out to you, like, don't call me anymore because you're not my daughter? Nope. Yeah, but you know what, Your Honor, at, at 14... When you were at your mother's funeral, did you also say that... My tears weren't needed because is... she wasn't my grandma. I did not well, say that. You exactly didn't say that. No, ma'am. If she's just making this up, what would be her motive? Don't ask me. I Your can't Honor, tell you. Can I tell you? Ms. At, Dixon. At 14, um, I went down the wrong path. I, I decided that I didn't have a dad. I had no male figure in my life to lay the law. My mom was working 60 hours a week to support the home. We have, she had two other kids besides me. Um, 14, I reached out to boys. I figured if I couldn't have a dad to love me, maybe a boy would. I lost my virginity and got pregnant with twins. I called Sam when I was pregnant with them twins, and he asked me if they were mixed. And I told him they were, and you know what? He told me he didn't, he didn't respect the fact that I was pregnant. Well, when my twins died January 17th, I called him, and he told me it was meant to happen. He showed up to the funeral because they were dead. That's the only reason why. He was there for a whole five, ten minutes and left. He sat in the opposite part of I'm the like, funeral I, I parlor. I love the way that she can read my mind and she can predict what I say and what I don't say, Your Honor. Did you show up to the funeral? Yes, I did, Your Honor. Was and it no, I did not make statements like that because that is unmoral. You're unmoral. I have, I have more <laughs> class than that. I have a lot so more class than that. So when you showed up to the funeral, it's your position that you were showing up to support her and what would be your potential grandchildren or I showed up to do the thing that normal people do when someone passes away to pay the right respect to that person that they've lost their loved ones. But that if I'm nobody to you, why would you come? I'm nobody to you. Why does it what does it matter to me? I wouldn't go to a random person's funeral. I'm not going to go to a stranger's funeral. <laughs> At 19, I was diagnosed with stage 3 lymphoma. At that time, I had a 1-year-old son and a 2-week-old son. They gave me 3 months to live. I didn't lay down. I fought. I did two years of chemo. I went bald. At 19 years old, I had no hair, no support. Now I'm at 22, I had my daughter. A miracle child they said I couldn't have. I got married. I married the father of my children. And guess what? My dad didn't give me away because my dad's never been there. And if he's not my dad, tell me where I can go find him. seeing constantly this young woman reaching out to you despite you denying her despite oh, you at lunch he told me that he wasn't my father which is why i'm here today because i don't need a sympathy and i don't need a charity case i've done enough without his help i really don't need him i just want to know that this next battle of cancer that i'm facing 
that if something happens, he doesn't have to come to my funeral for sympathy. He'll come because he knows. This sounds like it's a sympathy thing instead of a paternity thing, Your Honor. Wait a minute, wait a minute, Mr. Froyo, wait a minute. Take in charge. How could you listen to I'm this listening. woman? I'm listening. Explain what she has gone through, what she is going through, and say, Your Honor, it sounds more like it's a sympathy thing yes, Your than Honor, a paternity it is. That's thing. That's what it sounds like. Well, I submit to you today that it is both. Because if you don't have a level of sympathy and empathy, I don't care if you don't think she's your daughter. I'm talking about her as a woman having to go through what she's gone through. And you don't have a level of sympathy for that? I really must say to you that it is disappointing for you to make a statement like that. And you are old enough, you're a grown man with kids, and you should know that it can be about both. As a father and as a potential father, you should be able to have sympathy and empathy about the question she has concerning her paternity. That's how it's connected. <laughs> Especially since she remembers you. Now, you may choose not to remember her, but she remembers you. She's idolized him for and years. And I still do. And he, I still do. Which is why I'm here at 25. When I'm, when I, if it comes up, Your Honor, that I am not the father, okay, and I'm not disputing anything. Then I'll look up to I want, Ashley. I want to know. <laughs> I want to know beyond a shadow of a doubt that she can turn to her daughter and say, I'm sorry, I'm wrong. I was wrong. But if not, I am man enough to tell her I apologize for everything that's happened you and be what? a man about it. Your Honor, may I say yes, something to my daughter? I do apologize for not being there all the time when you needed me. You know I love you with all my heart, and I will never, ever deny you the fact of your father, which it happens to be him, and I'm sorry, but <laughs> I love you. And All right, Mr. Froy, you have another daughter. Yes, ma'am. And she uh -huh. is actually here. Yes. Bring in Ms. Froyo right now. I want to hear from her. Me and Shannon grew up together. It's great she's here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for being here. You okay? What's on your mind? Before I ask you a question, tell me what's on your mind. It is so true about what Patty said. It's the girl thing. My mom left him when I was two months old. I was forced to go. He had, I have a brother, and we have the same mom and dad. In order for him to take my brother, he had to take me. Did he want to take me? No, my mom made him take me. And yes, we used to go to Patty's house when my dad was with her. He wasn't always there, we were there with Patty. To me, it was a girl thing. I have three boys. He did not want nothing to do with me until I had my first son. These are really strong statements, and your daughter is obviously very hurt. Do you in any way understand or agree with what she's saying? Oh, I understand what she's saying. Do you have a preference for boys no, and I have don't. neglected your girls? No, I don't. Mr. Froyo, I've been trying to understand where this huge doubt comes in besides this one instance five years ago. That's the only thing you've presented to this court where you felt like you had reason to doubt whether or not Ms. When Dixon... When another person tells you that's not your child, that's mine, what do you used to believe? I, I need you to make me understand. When the mother what won't let it? you see the child, Your Honor... And you can't go over there or they'll call the cops. Yeah. You don't go. Because so I ain't never been to jail. I'm not about to go to jail. Dad, do it every may, day. File for visitation. Maybe you should have told you know. me where you were going, how long you were going to have her, that was, and That wasn't number. even the case, and you know no, it. Get, All you do is talk talk profanity to other people okay, and, and, okay. and so on and so this forth. And you know what? I don't do it. About, about yeah, it was all, okay. It's always about you, Patty. It's about my daughter. It's always about you, Patty. Thank you, though. I've heard enough. I think it's time for the results, and I know that's what everyone really wants to know. Jerome, please hand me the envelope. In the case of Dixon versus Froyo, 
when it comes to Samantha Ashley Dixon. Mr. Froyo, you are her father. Told you! It was called Ashley! I'm a man you... of my word. Samantha, I apologize to you, and I'm wrong for being the way I was, but you know what? Can now I you know the truth, now and I apologize. No Can I have a hug? I'm sorry, baby. I'll be there for you. Thank you for coming. No problem. I'm sorry. Thank you for that. Thank you so much. No, thank you for having the courage to come and hear the truth. I've waited and 25 years to hear those words. And you got it. And Mr. Froyo, <laughs> you said you were going to apologize. And you did. Now, from that apology, I really expect you to follow through. Oh, I will, Your Honor. Thank you. Because this young girl is worth it. She still loves you and wants the love of her father. And she deserves it. She'll get it. Thank you. Thank you so much, Your Honor.